walking in. Check out all these wind chimes and the metal Christmas trees, Bigfoots. This is awesome. And we need to get this for Papa, official Bigfoot search team. So just like last year, we have a sand art booth. They have a bunch of stuff you can make and design. We have some face painting going on and some bubbles. Looks like some light up swords and everything. Kids are liking the bubbles. We are walking down one of the aisles, lots of awesome vendors. So what we liked about it last year is that there's a lot of variety of booths. I mean, anywhere from vacations to paintings, and it's great. I just won. <laughs> What's on tree service? Does that make noise? I don't know what these do. Nice. Let's see we'll what you win, Porter, at the T-Mobile tent. Let's see it, buddy. Case, keep on going. Yeah, you want something. Man. Pins, chapsticks, hand sanitizer, a bag. Everything you've always wanted, right? No, spin it. Oh, no, she broke it. Have some sunglasses here, two for 25. We have some taco festival shirts. They are 20 bucks. Check out the bubble man. That's a lot of bubbles. Look. A sea of bubbles, love it. We are gonna go do the Chattanooga Adventure Trains. Check them out. Let's go, Chattanooga Adventure Trains, woo! Are y'all ready for this? Yeah! All right. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, he said. Choo choo! Let's go! Taco Festival, baby, 2023. Is pet and zoo time. This was our favorite last year. We're gonna see what they have this year. And I remember this torch from last year and he is still eating an ice cream cone, but he is being stepped on by a goat. Look at that. <laughs> well, what do we have here? A little piggy, a piglet. There's some chickens. Are, are you feeding the little piggy? Come here, look, look piggy. Oh, he's a, he is a hungry thing. Check him out. Looks like we have a miniature pony and some kind of uh, calf. That's a water buffalo. A water buffalo? I don't know about that. Getting a snack. He said, wait a minute, that's not a taco. What you got there? A donkey porter? Wait, and that is a little cow over there. Looks like that they're just grazing. <laughs> what we got going on here? We are down to the goats. The tortoise has ran away, but these goats, as always, they are hungry, oh, no. hungry. Oh look, it's coming back down there. <laughs> Gee, what is he doing? Look. And I love that all these goats, they're just standing on this guy. Oh, oh get it. What are you doing down there? And Emmett's trying to feed the chicken the rest of his food cone. So last year they had a camel here. They don't this year. They said that they divided them up. He's at another festival. Over here we have some comfort cats where you can pet and play with some kitties. The cat enclosure. <laughs> Look at that little white one, Porter. You like him? Wow, Palmer, you got one already. Palmer loves picking up kitties. Uh oh, it's a wardrobe malfunction. Thirsty, thirsty kitty. Emma's got a little white one. Sweet kitty. These are some of the largest bubbles I've ever seen. Check out that thing. Wow. Paul Daddy's getting some Lelo's hot sauce. Good stuff. We have some Bethel Boutiques. We saw them at 1890s in Ringgold. They have a lot of cool customizable stuff. 
like those cups. There's aisles and aisles of vendors here. This is awesome. This is very cool for a free festival and the variety, as I said before, is awesome. Here we have some handmade foldable fan, $15 turtles, pretty cool. Chattanooga Red Wolves. So we have Pokemon bath bombs, we have Stormtroopers. Oh, we have spooky ones. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Look at this, the cauldron bath bombs. That is neat. Look, let me see it. Even have rainbow poop bath bombs. This is an awesome selection. Freeze dry candy. This is the second freeze dry candy booth I've seen. Must be a new popular thing. Lots of signs like Tennessee, Georgia. Those are some cool tailgate signs. I just bought a Georgia tailgate sign for five bucks. That was an awesome deal. They also have some live music for while you eat. Pretty neat how they have the tables out here. We're coming into the taco area. It's packed over here. So now we know where everyone was. They are waiting in line to get tacos. Good grief. Woof, these lines. Well, I wanted a taco. But uh, these lines are making it hard. The taco lines are wild. I'm gonna try some Venezuelan food. They have some ayapas. I've had some before when I spent a week in Colombia. So let's go check them out. All right, so I got a chicken arepa and a cheese tequila with a drink was $13. Let's try it out. All right, Porter's gonna try the tequino. Try it, buddy. It's bread and cheese. Does it taste kind of like a cheese stick? Mmm. Is it good? Awesome. I got the pollo arepa. It's good. It's got a lot of meat in there, so very good. The blow up area is $10 all day. We did this last year. We're not going to get to do it this year, but looks like they have some cool ones in there. And we're going to end this vlog actually at Twin Peaks because the kids were wanting something more American. And when I say American, I mean fried. Check them out with, with those antlers. Sasquatch is walking the most. Porter is about to eat this giant chip. We're going to dip it in some cheese dip for him. Porter. Let me hear that crunch, boy. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Oh, that was great. What a cool. Look at that crunch. And we're going to end this video with some brisket tacos. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next adventure. Oh no, they done escaped and now they're playing. See y'all.